Well, just come out to do a little update on the Jeep. Sorry, Land Rover. I'm used to calling it Jeep because I got I'm into Jeeps. Had Jeeps for so many years. Anyway, um, as you know, I've made the front end, new front grille. I've repaired this um, front um, cross member here. I've been painting up all the chassis. Painted uh, the axles and all that, stripped everything down, gotten all the rust off with an angle grinder with a brush on it. Um, yeah, I've uh, chopped sections of this floor out. Um, the footwell uh, on the driver's side. I've uh, made shaped new pieces of steel, uh, fitted them in. Uh, done a replacement piece here, done there. I've uh, folded around the edge, welded them up on there on the arches, I've painted it out. Um, yeah, now uh, I have to take the accelerator pedal off here to do this part, which will be going back. So I've got the floor panels out at the moment on this side, going to be taking them out on the passenger side next. I've had to take the windscreen off yesterday. The reason of taking the windscreen off is because the dashboard is rusting to bits. And the only way to get everything nice and solid, clean it all up and um, repair all the rot was to take the windscreen off by removing the two bolts here and the two bolts over on the other side and I just lift it off. Uh, bonnet, that comes off as you know, just slide sideways and you lift it off. Um, you can see from under here uh, the rot in the top of the dashboard. So I'm toying around now with cutting the dashboard off and uh, replacing the dashboard. Uh, let's see what else to talk about. Put that back down. Um, I'm going to be doing welding in the other footwell down here because uh, basically it looks like it's been skimmed with um, a cow pat and loads of, um, of bloody filler and it looks bloody awful and this is all going to be coming out and having new steel welding you know, basically water getting in under all this cocky, cocky and silicon sealant. Ugh. Yeah. So basically, this lot needs to be cleaned off, floor panel taken out, brush it all out, clean everything up, weld new steel in. Right, and then we've got the dashboard in this corner as well, uh, which. Uh, is going to need grinding and peeling off and so on so I've got to make a decision what I'm doing on the dash whether I uh, chop the whole dash off right the way through and put new steel on or whether I uh, just chop it back so far um, these parts aren't too bad, 
it's possible that I could drill the spot welds out, peel the steel back and then uh, get the angle grinder in and clean the steel off and then uh, put some sort of paint on, primer it and then um, um, drill and plug weld to simulate the spot welds and put the metal back again and paint it all up again. So uh, not certain what to do there yet, just got decisions to be made. This door on this side isn't too bad, it's got a bit of rot in this corner down here, it could be cleaned up and repaired, um, can't remember, maybe maybe they're like that, I don't know, no, it looks like it's rot to me, the corners of, of rotten, uh, yeah that one's rotten there and that one's rotten there. Uh, so I don't know what to say, um, it's not beyond fixing, but um, all the glass, the runners for the glass are, uh, are knackered, the, the glass won't slide as far as I know, unless, no it won't slide, so um, there is a company in here in Liverpool that builds completely new doors with everything on them. Uh, so you never know, I might just get a couple of new doors rather than spending weeks trying to strip all this down and cleaning the runners up and, or putting new channels in. You, you basically you can get all the repair parts from this company or you can get a complete door and the doors just lift on and off as you know, probably. Uh, data plates, data plates need to come off, they've all been painted over, uh, so you can't see the information that's on them, uh, why bother having a data plate there if you're going to paint it black, uh, yeah, the seats, don't know, I might end up keeping the two outer seats, um, the two uh, exterior, um, you know, yeah, two outer seats, and take this middle one away and um, have a cubby box or something or other in the centre. Uh, I don't see uh, me ever driving with a third person stuck with a gear stick between their legs. I don't really see um, that happening. No. Um, I don't think anyone's going to volunteer to have me sticking my arm my hand between their legs and jiggling them around with a, with a gear stick. Uh, no, not really going to happen. So a bit of a pointless seat. Um, yeah. Other than that, um, things are getting on. Uh, there's the there's the uh, windscreen. Uh, came off fairly easily. There's the windscreen wiper motor and so on. Uh, that in, ge uh, uh, in general, that's uh, that's in fair condition. Uh, now it's off. I will be inspecting uh, it a little bit closer, and uh, any rot that I find in it, I can weld up. Yeah. So anyway, it's a nice day. Uh, sun is shining. Pigeons are out wrapping on the place and um, I get on with the thing uh, the tailgate I managed to clean the back tailgate up with an angle grinder brush it seems to be the only thing which gets all the filler off uh, there's so much filler on these body panels that you can't see the pop rivets um, the, head, the pop rivet heads were completely skimmed over in filler and the filler was cracking off and making an awful mess and then people just repainted in the cracks so it looked like the surface of the uh, the moon uh, bloody horrible um, I'd rather have some honest dents without a ton of filler breaking off I'd rather have honest dents in it than than, than a complete of a looking job you know 
Uh, even the welding, I'm not over worried about some of the welding being a bit, bit naff. It's honest patches, uh, which you can see. I don't want, you know, tons and tons of filler slapped all over it. It just, um, it's just a bit depressing. So. Um, yeah, so I'm getting on with things. So what do you think, guys? Should I uh, ch chop the whole dash off or just do some repairs in the corners? See, if I look from here, from this point, from the steering wheel on into the middle, it's not too bad. Okay, it's got this stupid piece of alum aluminium which has been bolted on to house this really, really crummy dashboard affair, which is going to have to go. Uh, but, you know, the, um, the speedo on it is the correct speedo for the engine and transmission, so I'll have to look at what I can do. But I'm thinking I might just put some chops down here through the dash where it's worst in the two corners this is the worst side driver's side is is absolutely atrocious so this all needs to be chopped off uh, yeah I followed some of the wiring on this yesterday I had a wire dropped from the from the horn uh, fuse on the back of here dropped down through the through the base of the dashboard then it came up and it ran on part of the windscreen ran over to here and it connected into a connector block there then it ran um, the connected to another wire to go into the connector you know into a connector block then it ran through a rubber grommet over there then it went all the way back round to here to a switch on uh, sorry to here to a switch on the dashboard and then the other side of the switch on the dashboard had nothing on it so it was just a dead wire that ran dangerously all the way through here all the way down there just to come back so instead of it running from here over to there he chose someone had chosen to run it down and up across the the, the, the windscreen back down and round for a grommet to come back when he would have needed a third of the wire to run from there to there under the bonnet absolutely ludicrous and it bloody annoys the hell out of me when I find wires like that it's, it's just stupid see there's a there's an ugly wire running along on there now um, that's for the windscreen wiper it's the power feed I think for the windscreen wiper having said that um, yeah, it has to be. Yeah, it's the windscreen wiper feed. It's going through there and then dropping down and going to the windscreen wiper switches, which is down there. Yeah, it all needs tidying up and doing nicely. The wiring down here is an absolute rat's nest. Of, of, a, of a wiring loom, it's just a mess. Um, there's a ton of wires being taken down to the battery terminal. Everything's just lashed down to the battery terminal rather than to fuses and so on. Uh, it's just a right mess. But the spec of the vehicle should make up for all the time that I'm having to put in on tidying it and making it right. It should drive well when it's done. You can't make an omelette without cracking eggs as the expression goes. How many more eggs have I got to crack?